guys, the Iron Jesse here, and welcome back to my new Marvel Studios video. And today, I know this happened last week during Valentine's Day, and I'm sort of a bit late on that, but still, I am going to show you guys some exciting news for the MCU lineup. And that is the official cast announcement for the new 2025 Marvel Studios The Fantastic Four movie. So I'm surprised about this. So they did announce the cast last week. On Valentine's Day which is Wednesday like I said and I'm excited and so happy about this so I am gonna show you guys the pictures of the cast after I show you guys the logo right here it says I want to like show you guys a little bit of that surprise right here but anyways the cast members are Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Ebon Moss, and Joseph Quinn so they are gonna play as Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards, Sue Storm, The Invisible Woman, The Thing, and Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch. So that is a pretty good casting. And I'm surprised that Pedro Pascal is going to be part of the MCU since I still remember him. Well, we all remember him as the Mandalorian right here, but I feel like he's going to do a phenomenal job playing as Mr. Fantastic, aka Reed Richards. So yeah, we have the logo right here itself that says Marvel Studios The Fantastic Four. And I. I honestly like it with that nice look right here. We have the Fantastic Four logo. So at least the logo is not that bad right here. But I honestly like it. But still, it's not that bad. But yeah, I'm so happy that we have the official cast right here. Since I still have the picture of them from that Valentine's Day post right here. Since I watched you guys as that little surprise. Well, some of y'all already seen it. But if you guys haven't seen it, I'll show it to you. But anyways, yeah, we have that logo itself right here. And that nice look so we have some bit of the whole storyboard for the film itself right here that we will get into later on after i tell you guys about the cast but yeah this is a nice looking logo right here as you can see but anyways enough with the logo so i am gonna swipe into another image that has the cast member so brace yourselves ladies and gents so three two one here they are that's right we have the cast right here so this is a wonderful looking poster so there is Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic. We have Vanessa Kirby as the Invisible Woman. We have Joseph Quinn as the Human Torch. And we have Ebon Musk as the Thing. And wow, look at them. They look so great in my opinion. So we have the MCU look at the Fantastic Four right here. Since I'm so happy that they're adding the Fantastic Four into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I'm so happy that they actually adding these characters for the lineup itself same thing that they did with x-men and all but yeah this is gonna be an incredible film hopefully it will be extremely good well i feel like i enjoyed the other two films with chris evans in it since i didn't see them in theaters because i was little back in the day in the 2000s but i just watched like the previous two films from the 2000s which is the first film from 2005 and the second one which is the silver surfer from 2007 on tv but i saw the 2015 film and it sucks the one with michael b jordan that film was a piece of crap i hated it it was really terrible and it wasn't that successful at all but i'm looking forward to the new mcu one and again i hope it's good right here because i wanted it to be good since i want that film to be better than that crappy 2015 one with Michael B. Jordan in it because I've seen that film like a few times and glad I didn't watch it again because that film was awful in my opinion. So I heard this film is going to take place in the 1960s right here. So I feel like this is like during the Infinity Saga for the lineup itself since I know this film is part of the Multiverse Saga right here. But Again, I feel like this is like taking place during the Infinity Saga after Captain America, the first Avenger, and right before that crummy Captain Marvel film from 2019, and right before the first Iron Man film from 2008, all the way to Endgame. But yeah, this is going to take place in the 1960s right here. We have like some 60 references, as you can see, like that newspaper and possibly that astronaut right here. I forgot his name, but still let me know in the comments if you guys know his name and all. But I love the Happy Valentine's Day banner on the top right here with the heart-shaped balloons. And yeah, they're just having a good time. And we have Reed Richards' robot right here that is holding the Fantastic Four mug since it's probably giving 
him to the thing right here. And yeah, I love the suits right here. Well, I feel like those are like the main suits which I can see on Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman right here since I see the Fantastic Four logos on the center part of the chest. But yeah, I feel like those are the main suits. Well, I'm still a fan of it. Well, sort of. They're fine by me to be honest, but at least they ain't so... They're not so bad after all, but I can still give it a shot. But I'm so happy that we have the official cast members of the movie. I'm curious to know if we're going to see an MCU version of Doctor Doom in this film. And I'm curious to know who's going to play Doctor Doom in this movie if he is going to be in the film. And it would be awesome if Galactus was in this film. That would be so exciting. And I'm curious to know if they're going to add an MCU Silver Surfer because... That would be really cool if they actually did that. So, But for now, we have the official cast members. And also, I heard about the new release date for this film. But it's still going to come out next year in the summer. But I heard it's going to come out in July, which is July 25th, 2025. So that was supposed to be that release date for the Thunderbolts movie. But they switched it up. So they are going to release this film on July 25th, 2025. And they're going to release the Thunderbolts movie in May 2nd, 2025. So that's going to be next summer. So yeah, well, I'm so happy that those films are still going to release in 2025. So thank God they weren't delayed and all because I hate those freaking delays so freaking much. But they just switched it. So at least I'm still cool with it. So like I said, the Thunderbolts film is going to release next May, which is May 2nd, 2025. And this film, the Fantastic Four movie, is going to release in July 25th, 2025. After I turn 22 years old, since I will be 22 next year. But yeah, I'm so happy that we have the official announcement of the cast members. And I feel like this is a good casting and all. But yeah, I'm happy that... Pedro Pascal is going to be part of the MCU as Mr. Fantastic. So, yeah, I just love this right here. So, this is going to be an incredible film. Hopefully, it's going to be really good since I want it to be way better than that gross 2015 film. But I'm still going to be fine with the previous two films from the 2000s with Chris Evans and all. But still, I want this film to be very good with good reviews, good content, and all that is really interesting and good but yeah i just wanted it to be good that's all i had to say but yeah i'm surprised that this film is still gonna be taking place in the 1960s which is gonna be in 1963 so yeah i feel like that is a pretty nice idea for the movie itself because like i said i feel like this could be like shown up during the infinity saga since that is gonna like take place after the first cats in america movie right before that crummy captain marvel film and all the way up to Endgame, but this is still based off of the multiverse saga, but still this could be like During the infinity saga or something like that, but how the whole storyboard is But anyways, that is it the whole cast announcement for the new Marvel Studios Fantastic Four 2025 movie And yeah, I am very happy with the cast selection Like I said, but yeah, pretty cool casting right here, especially Pedro Pascal the Mandalorian himself Since I still love him as the Mandalorian Right here, but I can't wait to see this movie next summer since it is gonna release in 2025. But yeah, this is a pretty awesome announcement for the lineup itself. So I don't have anything else to say about it, but that is all I've got so far right here. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, the same button. And don't forget to Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about the cast announcement for the movie itself for the lineup. I'll see you later, alligators. Bye.